Hello, hello, beautiful people. I am here with author Dr. Edmund Moore. BTTV is in the building. I am your host, Brandy True. Dr. Edmund Moore, I'm so excited to talk to you. Well, I'm excited to talk to you as well. Listen, your, your book is it's amazing. It's phenomenal. You have your book, With the Father's Love, 52 Weekly Letters to My Beloved Daughters. Oh my gosh, I read the description. I was like, this is just phenomenal. Tell me what inspired you to write this book. Uh, well, several years ago, I was uh, going through a divorce and you never know what's going to happen in, in the divorce system. So I was worried about losing custody of my, of my daughters. And so I started writing a letter to them every week about a, a, a various topic. And I did that for 52 weeks. 52 weeks. That's very, that's a lot of energy, a lot of effort, a lot of words, a lot of thought that goes into that. What made you choose to write a letter every week as say opposed to just buying them flowers or just writing both of them, you know, just one letter each? Why 52 letters? Well, it, it started off with the first letter and then I just sort of decided to keep doing it. My youngest daughter definitely liked the letters. So I just figured that you know, once a week was enough time to come with a, a topic that you can write on. And I wanted to keep it short, to the point, so that they would actually read them. And what is the subject matter of these letters? I hear that it's an array of topics. Can you dive into that? Uh, uh, yeah, the, the first letter, of course, was uh, I wanted to let them know that I would always love them. And I sort of set the format for the book. So I wrote a little introduction, wrote a letter about how I would always love them. And then, uh, I always did a reflection and closed, closed the letter out with something personal about me so they would know who their father was. And how was their response when you, they received these letters? Yeah, varied. Uh, my youngest one, she uh, is more of a reader, so she, uh -huh. loved, she loved reading the letters. My oldest daughter, eh, not so much, not much feedback. I'm sure she appreciated though. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, when you're in that teen phase, you want to hide your your emotions, but I'm sure she definitely was touched. Well, yeah, she was the oldest one, and uh, she she was just hitting the teenage years, and uh -huh. my youngest daughter, of course, was not a teen at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, what was your mindset as you were writing these letters? Were you being invoked with emotion as you're writing them? Are you calm-spirited? Were you level-headed? What was going through your mind? What was your thought process? And what were your emotions? Well, my uh, always depend on my source, which is uh, God. So I try to stay centered. And you know, if you've been writing letters for a while, you you try to say, "Huh, do I have fifty-two letters to really write? Fifty-two different topics to write?" About? Right. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes up at, at some point. Obviously, you're someone who takes pride in being a father. What do you think it is that about that role that is so special? Um, I would say just looking up to my father, I always looking up, look to my father for strength and wisdom. Mm -hmm. um, not to say that my mother didn't possess those as well, because quite honestly, my mother taught me how to fight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, when I grew up, I just had a, an older brother, and uh, some kind of way, I always end up with uh, goddaughters. I have all these goddaughters, no uh -huh. godsons, uh -huh. <laughs> just goddaughters. Uh -huh. So, I, so when I had my own daughters, you know, I just wanted to uh, to put into them as as much as put into me that's when I was growing up. So to hopefully get them a heads up in life. Definitely. And when you were writing these letters, I'm sure some stood out more than others or more some may have resonated with you more than another what would you say was your favorite well you know they are my favorites <laughs> it's like asking who's no your favorite, favorite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, i still think the uh the first one uh that i will always love you just to show that uh unconditional love to your children and as i was talking to uh i get a medical massage and i was talking to my medical massage therapist yesterday uh-huh and she said, uh, she said, ah, oh, teen girls. And she said, the ones who you're closest to are the ones they hurt. <laughs> she said, because she said, Cause you have unconditional love. They can say anything to you. They know you're going to love them, but their friends and other people may turn their back on them. Yes. They won't 
say that to them, but they'll say yes. it to you. So I'm like, oh. yes, that's because, that's because we know our fathers aren't going anywhere. You know, <laughs> no matter what, you guys are not going anywhere. I do want to follow that question up with, well, what was your toughest letter you would say you had to write to them? What was my what again? Your toughest. The most tough letter. The one that evoked the most emotion, the most thought. Hmm. Oh, uh, the most tough letter. That's a good question. Uh, one, of the, one, one letter I wrote to him was, can I depend on you? Um, mm -hmm. And that one just was to tell them that when I ask you to do things or you say you're going to do things, follow up. You, mm -hmm. you, you can't say you're going to do things and then not do them. Right. Because people, people depend on you. That's, that's probably my toughest letter to them. Holding them accountable, pretty much. Right. Definitely. Well, you say that they responded well. Did they have the expectation and the response that you anticipated in having? Not really. You, you, you know, you think you're writing these letters, you think they're going to be receptive of them. Uh-huh. You know? You feel like you're Moses coming out to, coming out with the tablets and yes. <laughs> <laughs> like this is gonna get them. I'm gonna be best dad of the year. This is it. And how is their response? <laughs> you, gotta do, you gotta do what he did and break the tablets. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure they I'm sure they appreciate it. Were they surprised? Um yeah, but I did tell them what I was going what I was going to do after I wrote the first one. I told them, huh. and I admitted to it, and I, and I wrote the letters and that kind of thing. Uh huh. So, so did you have any significant response from them? From them, any significant response? Uh, well, my youngest daughter think uh, she said, "Dad, you know a lot about finances." So. <laughs> uh huh. But, but hey, I read that in the product description. Listen. I'm only 24. I need all the wisdom that I can get. Tell me about that letter when you broke down just the importance of knowing how to budget and manage your finances. Well, actually, I, I wrote it. Was, I think it was three parts because oh, wow. uh, it's, it's so thorough. much in, in that. Topic, <laughs> but I, I think that was the only one I had to break it into separate parts. So, so I, I, I talked to him about uh, what, what money was and that kind of thing. And, that if you were, I think, 20 years old and you saved such and such amount, it's maybe 7% interest, what it would take to get to be a millionaire and that kind of thing. And uh -huh. trying to show the power of compounding interest and that kind of thing. Prior to the divorce, how was your relationship with your girls? Uh, relationship with the girls was we'll, we'll, fine. Would you say we it was didn't, we, didn't have, we, didn't, we didn't have any, we, we didn't have any problems and that kind of thing. Uh, what I will say though is that uh, children can hide things, so they can, they may, they may think you may think they're doing better than they are, and mm -hmm. they don't necessarily show their show their, their true feelings. So, mm -hmm. and you can tell that you're very intuitive with your daughters. Would you say that this book had an effect on your relationship, or kind of solidified it, or improved it in any way? What the uh, the book? Yes. Uh, I'll say it uh, initially it, it improved it. Uh huh. So, yeah, because it, it, remember these letters were written probably on order about six years ago. Right. So that's even something more to cherish. Yeah. So now they may be more uh, like, wow, these letters are out there. <laughs> so <laughs> if anything, they if anything they appreciate it more now though because they're older, right? Well, they should. But uh, you never know. <laughs> I'm, I listen. I am sure they definitely appreciate it. And I found out that you actually published this book right before Father's Day. Why is it that you chose to do that? Oh uh, well, everybody encouraged me to, to, to try to publish it around Father's Day. They, they said it would be a great gift for fathers and that kind of thing. Yes. And uh, the interesting thing is, uh, when I originally wrote the book, I was thinking. The publisher, I thought it would be for young, 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 young ladies. And hey, I'm gonna get mine. I'm definitely <laughs> gonna get mine. I want all your gems. I want to read these sentimental letters. I am definitely so intrigued. I'm definitely, definitely going to get mine. I do want to know what was the response of the public when you put this book out. What have people been saying about it? Um, 
I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of people been saying that, that we are proud of you that uh, that you've gone through the, through the divorce and everything and 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 while I was uh, uh, the book also I had my both my parents died doing it as well so people saw how I reacted and 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 didn't react negatively so mm -hmm. been getting a lot of positive feedback. Would you say that this book was therapeutic during the time of the divorce? during the time that you lost your parents and just also just thinking as you were embracing your daughters was this book therapeutic for that i would say it was a little bit therapeutic mm -hmm. as well yeah but the one the one thing that I, I since it was for my daughters i made sure that the one thing i didn't want to do was at attack my uh my former wife or her family that kind of thing so i, I was extra careful to avoid doing that so. Definitely. What is the best thing you would say is about being a father? The best thing about what? Being a father. Huh. Oh, wow. That's an interesting question. I never thought about that. The best thing about being a father. Well, you know, I'm proud of my, uh, uh, of my, of my daughters. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and I don't, I don't know. I don't always think they know how proud I am of them, no matter how often you tell them. Uh huh. Uh, Especially with now that they have teens, they look at you uh -huh. sort of, yeah, yeah, you know, you don't, you don't know as much as you think you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, we always think Teenagers that we know more. more. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't tell you, I can't tell them, I say, you know, I've, I've been there where you are now, where I uh -huh. have those feelings that, that uh -huh. does not register. <laughs> uh -huh. So beautiful, such beautiful stories. I can't wait to read them how proud are you of yourself for just sticking with this whole process because this wasn't an overnight journey so how proud are you just to see everything coming to fruition well i'm proud of it but at the same time it was it was really a letter a week and uh -huh. when i shared the letters with some with friends at church and other and family they said like, whoa oh, you should publish this uh -huh. and so the intent was not really to publish it it was uh -huh. really it was really uh for my daughters but people said hey other people can use this and uh they said they're 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 children without fathers and that kind of thing and yep. th this this would be a, a help to them so that was yes. sort of my motivation for going along in public yes. yes being a father is no easy task i'm sure you can attest to that so it's just great that you took it upon yourself to write these beautiful letters to your daughters and just share words of wisdom and just beautiful words of love i can't wait to read this book i'm super excited thank you for even just putting together something like this well thank you for the interview <laughs> oh, no problem you guys please be sure to get dr edmund morris of with a father's love 52 weekly letters to my beloved daughters you can get it at amazon barnes and nobles any any other place, Dr. Edmund? Uh, uh, Kindle. <laughs> Don't and Kindle. Kindle. <laughs> Kindle technology these days, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for this interview. Much success to you. And I am so excited to read this book. Well, thank you. Thank Enjoyed you. it.